Hey guys, my name is Rick and today I'm going to be showing you how to remove and replace the side mirror on a Chevrolet Volt model year 2016 to 2019. So you can see here the damage to the side mirror. This was actually my fault as I was backing the car out of the garage. Uh, about a year ago actually I hit the side mirror now if it was just this top part this top cover that could be replaced you can see there that could be replaced however I also busted off the the small piece here so that whole mirror has to come off now you can see on the passenger side where I've actually replaced the top cap there so you can see if it's just the top cap that can be easily replaced but it's that bottom piece that you have problems with so there's going to be two different sets of screws that you're going to want to remove. The first is going to be right below the window controls and the second is going to be in a compartment right above the, the door handle. Now you don't have to have any specialized tools to get those out but I have found that if you use, if these are nice to have and pretty handy. You can get these for like, I think I paid nine bucks for this on Amazon. I'll link it in the description below. But you get all of these different trim removal tools. And there's a really nice small one here that just makes a really quick and easy job. And then there's your screws. And then this way you don't mess your trim. This top one is a little harder to get out. So you want to be careful so you don't mess your trim up. Just work with it and then you can pry, pry it out and expose that second set of screws. Now these are pretty easy to remove. This is a seven millimeter. Both of these are seven millimeter screws. Uh, so just um, have that handy and then go ahead and remove those. Now here's where some of these other trim removal pieces are really gonna come in handy from a kit like the one that I have. Because you can just very easily put it in and then pry it loose. And that trim will start to to come off pretty easily at that point. Now after you use that trim removal piece or you remove the trim, just work your way from the bottom all the way up. You'll see that it loosens really easily. And then your door piece then will literally just lift up and off. Now you don't actually have to remove any of the wiring harness or clips from the back side here. Once you release that trim piece, um, just make sure you've got something underneath it so that it's not damaged when you rest it on the ground like I've done here. Now you've got access to this upper trim piece which I've already loosened using one of my trim removal tools. And this is just going to pop right off. And that's going to give you access to the two bolts that you're going to need to remove your mirror. So go ahead and remove that wiring harness clip here. We're going to work that out and then we're going to remove the two bolts here. That's going to be using a 10 millimeter, uh, 10 millimeter socket. Now I've removed those first two bolts and the wiring clip there and I found that there's actually a third bolt behind this black trim piece which is a little bit harder to get out. But again, that's behind your trim, so no worries if you try to if you mess that up trying to get out. It was a bit is a little bit harder, and then you use the same 10 millimeter and remove that bolt. Once you remove those three bolts, then your mirror hopefully will come right off as it does. Easily removed, just like that. Now I have my replacement mirror here and one of the things that you of course want to match up if you've got the blind side monitoring like I do, you need to make sure that you get that. There are a lot of the cheaper options on the market but you do got to make sure that you do have the blind side um, or the wiring if that is something that your vehicle is equipped with. So it took me a little while to find a really good deal on this. Chevrolet wanted several hundred dollars and several hundred more dollars to install this and as you can see with just a little bit of work ourselves, we can do this. So now we're just going to work backwards by installing the mirror, reinstalling the bolts, putting the trim back on and then we should be good to go. So one of the things, one of the mistakes I made is that I did not um, correctly reinstall the door lock piece which is this here. So you want to make sure attaches there and that then you slide slide this back on top of that so it had fallen down as I removed the trim 
And so I actually reinstalled the door trim with this piece um, right there. So I've had to take it off and redo it. So learn from my mistake and make sure that that is up and that you slide your door trim over that when you reinstall. And so just like that, we've got the door trim reinstalled. Looks great. So much nicer than riding around with a busted mirror. Very simple, easy. Took about 30, 45 minutes. Uh, that was with the mistake that I made. So this is something that you can easily do at home and save yourself several hundred dollars. Just look on eBay, eBay or other sites, find you a, an OEM, original manufacturer uh, replacement equipment, and you can do this at yourself. Hopefully this helps. Got any questions, let me know.